Yeah, good afternoon, viewer. Good afternoon, my viewers all over the world, depend on the geographical location that you are in. Uh, thank you once more for subscribing my videos and for sharing my videos. I'm happy doing content and I'm also thank you for taking your time to look at it. Um, and to, today, not to waste much of your time, we'll be looking at the impact of our schools and our educational system on our children that are born in the Western world. Yes, today the statistic, it is obvious that statistics shows that a lot of our kids are falling out of educational system, but some of us face to understand what is going on and what is this impact that why our children are falling out of education, which arise on this need that it would be good for me to show some of this element for us to identify some of the factors that could have led to this. One, I'll be looking at these factors as internal and external factors. One, I'll be looking at the internal factors which has to do with the parental network, the home that this child is being born and brought up. Because most of these children that lived with us as parents, some of our parents or we individuals that are, that are meant to be the parents of these children, we are not good examples to these kids. Because one, we are not good delivering, we don't see the advantage of going to school. We don't even read journals or read magazines or listen to news or newspapers. Neither for our children to be killed into it. An environment that is full of violence, hostiles or fighting or quarreling does not give the children terms of the availability or the drive for them to read. Then again, we'll be looking at the external factors which has to do with the trauma or the stigma that they might be experiencing when they are out there in the community. And this one has to do either to do with the color of the skin or their presentation or their personal or physical futures but outside that that is not enough for our children to say they will not want to take advantage of what is being provided here in the western world in terms of the education that has to be because this we could be able to address this by we having regular section with our children how is school today and what has school offered you today what is your experience in school today and what did you experience and how do you feel in school today it makes them open it makes them speak what they feel how they feel and how people tend to talk to them or look at them or rate them then you as a father or you as a mom you'll be able to advise them and say well this is this or this is what is expected to be to put them back into the key or into the light that is expected to be the other factors could be some of the mechanism around the school which could be tutors, which could be facilities that they are being deprived of not being uh, of not using it or being talked down see it all comes down to the second point that when we talk to our children it will they will be able to explain to us that this is what they experience they will be able to support them I will always advise parents never to talk down your children, never to disbelieve anything that your children tell you, because it's our responsibility to call the school, to ask the school, to ask any educational system that they are, or any skill center that they are, what is going on, and to express our children's concern. Because most of our children today, they break out of educational system based on these reasons, because they feel nobody listening to them, nobody asks them how they feel, and nobody wants to hear the side of their story. If your child or your daughter know as a father or as a mom, regardless of the father, you are single parents, that you are there to ask them question, how is your school and how is your school treating you, they will be able to express and hear how they feel. And in addition to that too, again, is that I understand that there could be racism, there could be attitude, there can be some mechanical factors or elements that could be implemented in most of these um, educational institution or skills acquisition center that could have impact on our children. But our children should understand the fact that too, that it's not all stakeholders, it's not all key workers, it's not all key persons that are in the school that are reflecting this element. There should be somebody that can talk to. There should be somebody that they can confide to. There should be somebody that can express their feelings to. So our children should see that too. And in a nutshell of all this is that our children should know that education is not only you working in an office. It's not only you having a good grade. It's giving you a light in exploring the system, in exploring what is expected of you globally, in exploring and bringing out the best in you. I always say that no matter what you want to be in this world, regardless of the fact you want to be a musician or you want to be a footballer or you want to be an artist or you want to be, depend on any skill you want to be, education is a grassroots foundation that is needed for you to as climb, that is needed for you to get to that drive. So that is to say, don't allow any person, any individual, any system, any element to kick you out of this. Because it is obvious that a lot of children 
a lot of children for black minority, a lot of children for other minority, a lot of children are falling out of education because they are getting the wrong concept to themselves that they are they have right in doing this and they have right in doing that. What are rights? Any right that tells you not to respect elder any right that tells you not to respect what the system said you should do any right that tells you not to respect what is meant to make you better and disciplined is not making you better but destroying you i am happy that from what i'm saying you'll be able to pick some element about what i'm saying you as a child you must respect your parents you as a child you must respect your teacher you as a child you must respect your pastor or your imam depending on your faith because when you respect them when you respect regulation when you respect authorities there are a lot of things that you will gain from there that will make you be a better person tomorrow because you cannot tell me because you are born in the western world that you don't have the guts to respect anybody that you have to disrespect every person disrespecting people today how do you think your future will look like it's even written in the bible that respect you have to respect your elders because when you respect people and respect authority you will go far better than who you expected to be because why the essence of this video is to put you back on your track that no matter what you are experiencing today you can definitely come back and make the light no matter the difficulty that is coming your way you can still make a positive impact and difference in your life because the body of knowledge have told us today that most children that have been disrespectful either from a non-functional family or from a non-functional system tend not to do well in the society that is why i'm saying that you are not born this way you are not created this way not to achieve what you are meant to be not to get what you are meant to get it could be the element of friends you are working with it could be the element of information you are working with or it could be how you are being filled up physically or emotionally those are the aspects we have to look at you must speak out you must talk and anything that is trying to weigh you down if you feel being bullied if you feel being not treated the way you are expected to be treated if you feel being disrespected it is your right is your human right to express it to your parents is your human right to express it to your gp is your human right to express it to your teacher is your human right to express it to the police regardless of who you want to express it to all we are driving at is we want you to be good. We want you to be relevant. We want you to achieve your life skill. We want you to achieve that goal that God has designed for you because you can do it and you can make a difference. Going to prison don't stop you of become who you want to be. Being your, your past does not stop you of becoming who you want to be. Regardless of your past, you can have a new slate. So please buckle up, sit up, take advice, take advantage of the facilities around you speak confidently and speak bold and make a difference in your career because definitely you will definitely do it and you will make it so in a nutshell i will want to wrap it up here i will want to wrap it up here for you to understand that you can do it you can change things your story can be changed the best person in you can come out your capacity as a king and as a leader can come out you will make it don't allow anybody to talk you down you can do it and parents should not talk down their children look at your children and see what best skill what best activities they like to engage in and from there you'll be able to identify the areas you will support them and single mom and single dad please don't take yourself or your weakness to destroy the future of your children because your children has their goal has their personal life drive in making a positive impact in their life so i believe this video and this clip will be able to reinforce this and educate children that they can be better regardless of the environment that they are that they have to put an input and make a difference in their personal life drive and that is the essence of this video please help to share these videos and help to educate parents that are falling in they are falling short in line with this element at this time i will say thank you once more for watching and subscribing this video thank you